Good morning, Cleaners Connect. This is Courtney, May the 21st. I'm out here on my first job. Um, just, a, you know, uh, a little subject that I was talking to some of the new members yesterday when we were out hanging out shooting pool is building that trust factor with your customers. Guys, here it is. Um, today we got a total of five on the books. I'm doing three myself, and they're all repeat customers. Um, but for this job, um, this customer uh, used me job history. They used me January the 3rd, and here it is, May, 3rd, May 21st, I'm back. She texted me this morning through the House Call Pro app. She said, Courtney, uh, tell you guys what she said, show you guys what she said. Um, hey, Courtney, I want to let you know that I left the payment on the kitchen island. Front door is unlocked. Thank you so much. Guys, my second job is the exact same thing. My second job, not only uh, did she leave the front door unlocked, but she also told me she's going to leave a blank check because there might be other services that she might want. She might want a sofa clean uh, if, my, if I have to do pet treatment. So she said, Courtney, I trust you uh, to fill out the check to the amount, you know, whatever it needs to be done. So, guys, um, when you're dealing with these customers, man, that's what we was, I was telling some of the new guys yesterday. You got to make these customers feel comfortable. You have to present yourself in a in a professional manner you have to just you know just wrap your arms around these customers and just man i'm telling you because because when you do that these are the kind of things that are going to happen leaving the front door open they're not here watching over you they're not here watching you um i'm still going to set up like i uh would do if they were here i'm still going to put down my corner guards i'm still going to put down my floor mats i'm still going to put down my uh pull up my cellar door I'm still going to do a thorough job. I'm going to do um, the exact same job I did if they were here because that's why they got me back. And they're not here because they trust me to do what I'm supposed to do. And if you do that, guys, I mean, I know we all have our different opinions. But, again, if you do that, you don't have to chase business. Business will chase you. Like I said, I got we have five jobs today. All jobs today are repeat, are all repeat customers. One of my jobs, she was like, Courtney, are you sure? Are you sure your guy? That's another thing too, man. When those customers get used to your work, and then when you start sending other technicians, you know, they're nervous. They're like, Courtney, are you sure the guy's going to do a good job? I said, yes, yes. Her name is Miss Graham. Yes, Miss Graham. He's going to do a good job. Trust me. If you have any issues, um, you can call me. So uh, that's one of the jobs one of my guys are going to do this afternoon um so guys i'm telling you i got my cellar door about to put the cellar door up I'm telling you man these customers uh can be your bread and butter and if you're in business if you've been in business for a while and you notice that you're not getting a lot of repeats and referrals uh you got to ask yourself what are you doing wrong um uh, because again you guys see customers leaving the front doors open uh again she left the check. I've already put in the check uh, in, in the truck. Um, and I'm about to get ready to go to my next one uh, after this. It's the exact same story. Leaving the check there, leaving the door unlocked. Trust me to go in and do what I'm supposed to do. So uh, go ahead and set up on this job. Nice, beautiful day today. And uh, hopefully I can get some damn news on my van. My new van. Hopefully I can have it before I go out of town this week. Uh... Had that damn van almost three weeks now. All right, guys. So, new guys, this is what I'm telling you. Trust, trust, trust. Want to take your business to the next level? Trust. And you got to market to those customers um, that will do things like that. When you deal with those lowball customers, they're not going to do stuff like this. They want to, uh, lowball customers want to watch everything you do. Can you get this stain out? Can you get that stain out? Uh, why so much? I was telling the guy that uh, yesterday, just because you're new in this business or you're starting out in this business doesn't mean you have to market low prices. I mean, I just don't understand that. It has nothing to do with being new in the business. If you're a professional, you clean like a professional, you present yourself like a professional, you should get paid like a professional. All right. So, all right, guys. You guys enjoy your Monday. And uh, see you in the next one. All right, Cleaners Connect. Uh, just got through to my, got 
to my second job uh, again you see the uh, first part of the video customer let me in left the door unlocked left the check there um, you can see the check right here today is the 21st uh, so that's the check from today the first job and here it is the second job the exact same thing guys two repeat customers well today I got three uh, three repeats and then uh, one of my contractors he's also doing three today uh, but again everything that I'm doing today are all repeat customers and I just got to the house and let's go ahead and see what's going on and like I said you can see there's no cars here uh, not to say they couldn't put them in the uh, garage but she said she left the front door open see look, look at that guys front door is open these are some of the rugs she want me to clean I'm gonna be doing the whole house uh, you see they already got stuff stacked up uh, this is my second time being here uh, I'm gonna do all the, the carpets carpets upstairs um, she also wants me to do that sectional do this all this room so guys this is gonna be a good paying job and look uh, I'll show you guys what she did I'm not gonna show her account number but you can see she left the check blank that's how much she trusts me guys for me to come in here and do what I need to do so just by Looking at it, this is probably going to be a good, uh, say anywhere between five fifty, maybe seven hundred dollar job. Um, and then my next job is a small one, Miss Chambers. She's a sweet lady. Uh, I'm just doing three rooms for her for one forty. So doing the whole house carpet cleaning. Yep. So guys, I'm going to get started. So guys, just want to let you know, man, when you deal with the right customers, quality customers, this is what you're going to get um, if you do your part. If you do your part, they will do their part. Um, but when you deal with those cheapos, people who have high expectations, people who want something for nothing, guys, you're going to, I mean, you, you can't win with them. They're not going to do stuff like this. They're not going to leave access to the house for you to come in without breathing down your back every five minutes, following you from room to room. Um, you know, make it, oh, is every spot of stain gonna come out? Those kind of customer guys, I'm just telling you, you wanna stay away from them. I know sometimes guys get into business and they think those are the customers uh, they have to go after. Uh, but again, like I was telling the guys last night, is when you market to those customers, um, you're never gonna win. I mean, you know, if you want your phones to ring, that's fine. Uh, if you want to just work, just to be working, that's fine. But you're not going to win with those kind of customers. And there's just, there's just a, there's just a point, guys. No other way to beat around the bush about it. Um, so, all right, guys, go ahead and get started. Um, probably be here. Sure, I'll probably be here about three, maybe four hours. So, I'm going to get started, guys, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.